Let's talk about the air suspension delay relay, or the EAS delay relay. This relay is responsible for power cycling the EAS computer, or ECU. And this happens every time you turn the car on and off, the vehicle basically, uh, there's a delay. It keeps the air suspension computer on for a period of time after you shut the car off, and then periodically it turns back on again. There's a specialty relay, it's underneath the left-hand seat, or the driver's seat, if you're a North American spec model and this relay isn't too complicated but here it is and this fails every now and then you heard right now my ignition key is in the second position and basically when you remove this relay the air suspension turns off uh, some people may not be aware that when you have the vehicle key on in the second position and if you remove power to the air suspension ECU the dash will beep and it will show the message slow 35 mile per hour max and it'll always do that if, if you disconnect power that's kind of a default message that shows up on the dash it doesn't mean you're in fault mode it just shows up on the dash because the EAS is not on so this is the EAS delay relay it's a specialty relay and we need to test it so one of the things you do is you just uh, inspect it Smell it, nothing burns out, nothing's burned out. Inspect the, uh, the receptacle, clean it out, inspect the wiring, nothing's pinched, nothing's torn. Inspect the wiring down here, nothing's, nothing is corroded or damaged. And we'll put the relay back in, and, uh, you, and then we'll move on to the OBD port, the OBD2 port, because the OBD2 port has a direct connection to control this relay. We can power cycle this relay, and it's an essential part of the air suspension uh, diagnostic protocol. To enter into the diagnostic protocol with the air suspension computer, you have to power cycle it. So we're going to go see if we can trigger this relay from the OBD2 port to verify the connection between the two is not corroded or damaged. So we've dropped the right-hand vehicle passenger side kick panel here and this is the obd2 port we simply just pop this out of here so you can see what's going on this is too difficult to film from underneath this is the obd2 uh, cable from behind and you want to inspect this harness there's reports of water ingress and damage that can result here in corrosion just do a visual inspection first if you have some like uh, deoxit gold uh, dedicated contact cleaner clean these out but we're going to test the eas delay, delay relay from the obd2 port we're going to jumper two pins, and we have a little jumper. I, I do recommend making little jumpers, by the way, if you own this car. They come in really handy. Uh, the key is in the second position, and we're going to jumper pins one, which is straight to the EAS delay relay, and pin five, which is ground. And we should hear the relay click, uh, and we're going to hear the dash beep. Yep. So it's the same as uh, removing that relay. It's powering off the air suspension. And you can hear the relay clicking too. If you, you have to get a, a helper to put their ear down there next to it, but that means the connection between pin one and ground and that delay relay is correct and it's functioning. You shouldn't have any problem. Just make sure these pins are now uh, clean, and there shouldn't be any issue. If there are any issues further, that we can't get the EAS to power cycle then it could be that the hardware we're using is damaged in some way. Thanks for watching.